Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenol and ether part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So glycerols are nothing but they have three OH group and please note that they are adjacent. Right, if you see this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, they are three adjacent carbon and they have three OH groups in the adjacent carbon. Correct. They are there in almost all animals and vegetables, oils and fats. They are always there. And they are formed by the reaction between glycerol and carboxylic acids. So if you see, I have a glycerol, which we have discussed in the last slides, I have carboxylic acid. Of higher molar mass, actually. We take generally high molar mass. And you get glycerides. Correct. Now we have this glycerol. From this, we are forming glycerides. Correct. And these glycerides, if you see, are nothing but my esters. So we learn glycol, we learn glycerol, and from glycerol, we are trying to prepare glycerides. So there are three different things. Please note: glycol, it has two H. Then glycerol, it has. See the name is the length is more that means it has more OH right so this is 3 OH this is 6 chiter this is how much 8 3 OH and then we have glycerides that is prepared from glycerol and carboxylic acids they are esters we'll discuss about this in fact I can give you an example of glycerides For example CH2 O COR1 some R2, some R3. So this is example of glyceride. Correct. Let's see the preparation of glycerol from fats and oils. So it's pretty simple actually. You have fat, you take an AOH and you get a glycerol. And you get sodium salt of fatty acid. Sodium salt of fatty acid. This is the typical reaction. Right? I'll, I'll take them fat. Fat is nothing but my glyceride. <coughs> CH2O COOR1. CHO COOR2. Correct. You add NOH in huge quantity in this three NOH required. You get CH2OH, CHOH, CH2. And this is my glycerol. And you what you get R1CONA, R2CONA, R3CONA, like that. <coughs> R1CO. ONA similar this R2 you'll get R2 CONA and R3 also you'll get CONA correct the sodium salts of fatty acids in fact there are other ways also to prepare uh, glycerol from fats so you can take this fat and you can take this super hot steam super hot steam if you take and have some pressure you use dilutic sulfuric acid in some pressure good amount of pressure you get glycerol for example ch2 this is my glyceride of fat okay, let me write this glyceride of fat now on this what I do is I add the super hot water, right? Super hot water and all this sulfuric acid in pressure. I get CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH, and you get R1COH, R2COH, and R3. 
That's what you get. Uh, in fact, they are different, different products. Correct? This is my glycerol. There is one more third way to prepare uh, glycerol from fat. You take fat and you take methanol, right? And you take some acid or base, whatever you want. And you get glycerol. Example I can give you. I have CH2O, COOR. Let everything be R actually. Yeah. Now on this, you add methanol. Some acid or base. I don't care. You get CH2OH, CHOH, and CH2OH. Plus, you also get R. COO CH3. You get 3 for this side. So this is one other way to prepare glycerol from fats or oil. Now we'll prepare glycerol from protein. So protein is a byproduct from the cracking of petroleum. So we'll use that to prepare glycerol. This is used in industry. So I have protein. So what we do is, generally we add react with chlorine at a high temperature. So what happens is this becomes CH2Cl, CH double bond CH2. On this you add Na2CO3. So this becomes CH2OH, CH double bond CH2. On this you add HOCl, you get CH2OH, CHOH and CH. 2 Cl actually, yeah. And on this, you can add an OH to replace this chlorine with OH. So what you get is CH2OH, CHOH, and CH2OH. And this is my glycerol. So we studied the physical properties. They are liquid, if you see. They are colorless, almost, right? They are syrupy. They are sweetish in smell, I mean taste, they are hygroscopic, they absorb water and they are water, alcohol and acetone soluble, but they are insoluble in ether. Please note, the other one was soluble only in water and insoluble in other organic compounds, but this is water, alcohol and acetone soluble, but insoluble in ether. And it boils at 563 Kelvin. We'll talk about some chemical properties of Glycerol now will take some reaction with sodium, reaction with SCl, reaction with HI, reaction with HNO3, reaction with acetic acid, reaction with oxalic acid, oxidation and dehydration. We'll talk about these many reactions about uh, glycerol, but we'll not talk about the reaction mechanism for most of these. We'll just talk about the reactions. Now we'll talk about the reaction with sodium. For sodium, if you see, I have CH2OH, CHOH, and CH2OH. This is my glycerol when it react with sodium. This, this H is replaced with Na. So this becomes ONA, CHOH, and CH2OH. You add more sodium, then this H will be replaced with the reaction keeps happening. Correct. So let's see the reaction with HCl. Similar reaction actually. So what we have seen, but if you see here, there is a small difference here. I have CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. And then react with HCl, you get a mixture of product actually. In one case, in this chlorine is replaced, one case, this hydrogen is replaced actually, OH is replaced. So I'll show you it will be the product mixture. Does it come CH2Cl? The first OH is replaced. In another case, this middle guy is replaced OH. So it's a mixture. Correct. Similarly, we'll see the reaction with 
H I. Actually, glycerol is reduced by H I. It is reduced by H I. Here it is my glycerol. Right, I will show the reaction CH2OH. I have CHOH, I have CH2OH. When I react with HI, it reduces and you remove water from head. You get CH2, double bond CH, CH2I. That's the reaction is. You add more HI, it's a little funny now. So this is this becomes CH3, CH double bond CH2. Right? You add more HI here. So this becomes CH3, CHI, and this becomes CH3. That's how the reaction is with HI. Little weird reaction. Now we'll see the reaction with HNO3. I have CH2OH, I have CHOH, I have CH2OH, react with HNO3 with some sulfuric acid because that is something which will make NO2 ions. So this will become CH2ONO2, CHONO2, CH2ONO2. If you want, you can guess the mechanism actually. HNO3, when this reacts with this, you get. We have seen this right and this guy is the one which attacks and kicks out all the hydrogens from this. Now we'll see the reaction with acetic acid. So with acetic acid it forms ester. It forms ester. I'll show you an example. I have CH2OH, CHOH, one glycerol I have. I react with CH3, COH, what I get is CH2O, COCH3, actually this H and this OH reacts and similarly here also if you see CH, OH and CH2OH. If you keep reacting it, if you keep reacting again with the CH3, COH, now again if what will happen is this last one will be converted. So this will be CH2O, CH3, CHOH and this will be CH2O, COCH3. You add furthermore acetic acid, the remaining one will also be chained now. It will become CH3O, COCH3, CHO, COCH3 and CH2O. This is the reaction mechanism actually. Okay. Now we'll see the reaction with oxalic acid. So I have this glycerol. And when I react this with oxalic acid at a high temperature, maybe 400 Kelvin, water is lost. And what you get is CH2O. This is the compound you get. Correct. Now, if you heat this guy, carbon dioxide is lost from here. So you get H2O, COH, CHOH, and CH2OH. This carbon dioxide is lost actually. Wait when you heat this. Correct. And this you can do hydrolysis and get back the like. So you're back to the same circle. We'll do oxidation of gly glycerol actually. So here also we have seen oxidation and reduction generally it depends on the uh, agent we use. Here also different uh, product based on the agent. right? I will not take deep into this. I will just explain you overall thing, different product based on reagent. So 
This is my glycerol. Correct. So if I take HNO3 dilute nitric acid, what I get is glyceric acid. If I take this is dilute. If I take concentrated nitric acid, which is strong, I get glyceric acid, but with that something is extra. That is tartaric acid. And if I take KMNO4 in this, this acidified KMNO4. What you get is carbon dioxide and oxalic acid. So you see different products based on the different oxygen. Correct. So let's see the dehydration. So I have a glycerol. And I heat this. I need, and I add some agent, for example. Phosphorus pentoxide. What you get is acrolein and it has a very bad smell. Very bad smell. So I'll show you the reaction. This is my glycerol. Right? So if you heat this. But let's suppose KH is a 4, so 2 H2O is gone, one from here, one from here and what you get is CH2 double bond C double bond CHOH is unstable actually right and from this what will happen is this H will jump here and you get CH double bond CH2 COH and this is my acrylic and this is a foul smelling acrylic. Let's understand some uses of glycerol. It is used for cosmetics, it is used for textiles processing, it is used to preserve fruits, it is used for sweetening agents, it is used to make medicines, mostly the cough syrups, it is used to manufacture explosives. And it is also used for antifreeze in motor car radiators. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials. And you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.